So you want to know the real DNA of the United States? It's in the preamble of the Constitution, and it's socialist. Check it out. And leave your comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So, but that's not what you call it. about. You called about the Constitution and socialism? Yes, I did. Go for it, Mike. Now, okay, I, what I'm going to state is I'm going to, I'm going to show that socialism is part of our government's DNA. And first of all, first, by doing that, let's define socialism in the context of, the, of this discussion that's been going on for the past couple of weeks. Sure. Essentially, socialism is a program created and supported by the people to benefit the people, right? I, I would go with that definition. I mean, okay. I, I, but I think we also need to define capitalism. I, I, I caught a little bit of Morning Joe this morning, and, and uh, they were interviewing uh, Governor Hickenlooper, you know, of, of Colorado, who has come out and said he's going to run for our political office for president. And, and you know, he, he started a brewery in, in, um, in Denver and then, you know, leveraged that to mayor and then to governor. And so, he, you know, he's a wealthy guy, a self, quote, self-made biz, businessman. And Donnie Deutsch and, and Joe, uh, what's his name, uh, <laughs> Morning Joe, uh, were, were all over this thing about how he's a capitalist. You know, this guy's a capitalist. And, and they tried to get him to say that he was a capitalist. He wouldn't say it. He was saying basically he was engaged in free enterprise. I don't think most people even understand the definition of the word capitalist. Hickenlooper was not a capitalist. He was engaged in free enterprise. He was an entrepreneur. But a capitalist is a person who lives off capital. It's a person who lives off their investments. And that's not Hickenlooper. I mean, maybe it is now in his retirement, but that's not how he, you know, he, he was a businessman. And, uh, you know, so ca the, the word capitalist is just as misunderstood as the word socialist. Forgive the aside, Mike, but it just was making me crazy when, you know, Donnie Deutsch and, 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 and Joe are sitting there going, well, you know, I don't know why you won't even say he's a capitalist. Well, maybe he's not a capitalist. Maybe he doesn't live off his capital. Anyhow, back to you, Mike. <laughs> okay, well, you went off on a different side because I thought the, the typical rebuttal to, yeah. to the definition of socialism uh, or what socialism is, right. is that they would say, but it's still a government-run program, which mm -hmm. brings me to my point. Okay. Our government was created and is supported by we the people, and it was done so to benefit the people it serves. Yes. So, I mean, it was a – it's our constitution – is essentially a socialist document. It was everything was created to serve the people. The people serve the government, and that government serves the people. No, the, be, the people actually control the government, and the government serves the people. Yes, and I completely agree Correct. with you. That is a socialist concept. Yes. Yes. And that's that's what that's what that's what the uh, if you're debating with a conservative, that's what they need to know. Because if you're going to ask them, who does who does uh, the government serve? Right. Uh, what other answer can they give? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, it, tragically, I'd say right now that the government is serving, you know, fat cats and corporations more than anybody else. But we can lay that at are the feet of our that? of our Supreme Court. And that has very little to do with the founders original intent. Right. Yeah. Right. But but that, that's what I'm saying, though. It, the, the the socialism is part of our DNA yeah. in our Constitution. Yeah. So yeah. it's not something that we should be we should run away from. Amen. Amen. Well said, Mike. Thanks a lot for the call.